Superman James had, I think, six catches around 65 yards, maybe more than that. What were you seeing that led you now? You targeting him so much on the field? Uh, there's a lot of one-on-ones with the safeties, and James is doing a great job all night uh, of winning his one-on-one battles with the safeties. I mean, there's a couple times um, where I wanted to get it to him, where he was kind of wide open, and, and I got pressured and I couldn't get it to him. But yeah, James played a heck of a game, and um, he's done a great job all year of winning his one-on-one battles with safeties and corners, and I think that's what he did tonight. So it just he's got to keep improving, just like everybody else. A lot of missed opportunities for the offense today. What, what do you tell your teammates to, you know, look that back past them and move on? I mean, we have to. I mean, we've got a lot of football left. I mean, we still control our own destiny. Um, you know, if we go out and, and, and win the next three games like we can and should, we'll be just fine. I mean, that was a good football team. I mean, that's one of the better football teams I've played since I've been at SMU. Um, you got to tip your cap to them. They made some plays, too. Um, but we've made those plays all year. I know those guys can make them. Um, so uh, they just got to keep their head up and we'll just go back to work tomorrow because, I mean, I got the utmost confidence in my guys um, out on the perimeter and, and they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna bounce back. I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all. Just got to um, keep them upbeat, keep their head up, and we'll be just fine. Coach Morris was talking about UC, UCF's cornerback, Hughes, um, who's on a lot of people's All-America lists, All-Conference lists. Yeah. How much... If at all, how much did you try to throw away from him? Does that even come into the game plan? Yeah, the kid's a stud. I knew that. Coming, I knew that coming into the week, where you know, if he was matched up with whoever he was matched up, we were trying to go away from him. Um, but we still took some shots at him. Um, I think the one to Trey that was really close on the fade, where he he, he just made a good play and tipped it up, and um, you know, that's one that. A lot of guys don't make that play. It's probably a touchdown if he doesn't make that play. So you just got to – I mean, there's times where – I mean, those guys are on scholarship too. You got to tip your cap to those guys sometimes. I mean, they're going to make plays, especially a high-quality opponent like UCF. I mean, I, like I said, that's probably one of the better defenses I've played since I've been here at SMU. And, and, and you know, they're big, they're fast, they're physical. You know, they played the whole game. So, you know, they're, sometimes they sometimes they make plays. So, um but we got to find ways to, to make plays at the end and finish. And um, I know I know we will from from here on out. So, what did you think of your offensive line uh, keeping you on your feet today? They did a good job. You know, the offensive line played well. We got a lot of moving parts right now since Nick Nick hasn't gotten back yet. So um, we're just kind of floating around trying to see who, who can play where. And I thought they played. A good, I thought they had a good game. They had a great week. Great week of practice. Um, we knew they were a high a high amount of pressure team. Their percentages of pressuring were high. Um, I thought they did a good job this week of, of getting ready, and, and they played well. So, you had uh, 54 yards on the ground today. I think that's probably a career high. Yeah, no doubt. Um, <laughs> probably the most I've ever had in, in my career ever. Yeah, you know, what kind of led to that? Uh, you know, when you, when you there's times where you know when I would step up and I would see a little crease and I would just try and hit it. Um, uh, I mean, it's really not my game, but I, you know, I think I've proven in the last couple weeks that I can I can do it and do it effectively. Um, but no, I mean, there's just times where you got to do it, and I think I've I've gotten better at seeing it and doing it when I need to do it instead of there's times where I was throw, I would throw it away if, if I had a little crease. And now I'm just kind of running it, and uh, it's been fun. You know, I hope I can keep it up. Do you think all that weight that you uh, dropped from the offseason has helped you out a lot? Yeah, I don't know. That's helped. That's helped with my speed and being able to make guys miss it just a little bit. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, that, the, the, the weight is the weight. Loss has helped. So, on the play where Cayman was throwing the ball to you, yeah, there were two DBs near you. Yeah, I don't know what that's surprised about. you were double yeah. covered, and it looked like you and one of them were sort of laughing or talking after the play. What What did he say to you, or what did you say to him? Oh, it was nineteen. I was like, man, why are you covering? Why are you covering me? There's a guy over there that plays receiver that's better than me. But uh, <laughs> no, it was we were we were hoping they would just let leave me be, and I could just kind of. You know, fall into it, and we would find it. But I guess they think I can run and catch. But so they put their All-American DB yeah, on you. Stud, they put their stud corner on me and <laughs> covered me. So, but I, you know, we worked that play all week, and we were hoping that they would just kind of, you know, leave me be. Because every time we do something like that, when I go out and into the where in the receiver stands, we run the ball. So, but they they played it. So. Take any acting classes for that other trick play? That I've taken, I've I've taken, here. I've taken plenty of acting classes at this at this school, but <laughs> haven't obviously haven't been good enough to make 
make that guy think I wasn't doing anything. So. Well, what about on the other one where it's like the direct snap to Xavier and you turned and looked at the sideline? Like yeah, that's that's one. We I think we ran that twice last year. Um, just one of our plays that we we implement each week to, to put a little wrinkle in there. So um, we ran that before. So. Bit of cool. a lot. Bit of a larger crowd tonight. Does that give you guys a boost? Uh, yeah, but that whole the whole crowd thing is it doesn't really affect us as players. You know, we just got to go out and play. Um, I think it was fun. There was times where the UCF crowd would get loud, and then our crowd would get loud, and we were on offense, and I actually had to like tell them to you know quiet down a little bit, which that's never ever happened. Um, but yeah, it, it was it's appreciated when we can get a crowd to to the game. And, because, I mean, we do work our, our tails off. I know those guys in the locker room work their tails off. So um, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was appreciated from, from, my, from, from my standpoint. But um, hopefully we can just keep them, keep them coming. Coach Morris always talks about how resilient this team is. And he has the whole one week at a time <laughs> philosophy that he shares all the time. In a game like this where it's really close against a nationally ranked opponent, is there any concern that this could be harder to bounce back from because you were that close to such a significant, what would have been a significant win? Um, you know, usually I would say yes, but with the fact that we still control our own destiny on our side of the, of the conference and the, and the games that we have remaining, I think it's going to be less hard because, I mean, we're, we're going on the road the next two weeks against high quality opponents that have beaten us. I don't know what the number is the last two years. It's not very good. So I don't I don't see how we could let this one affect the rest of our season with the teams that we have coming up and you know the chance the chances that we still have in front of us. Um, so I would I would say typically a, a, a typical SMU team yes, but not this team. I think this team is is much more mature. They understand we understand where we stand, um, and they we understand where we want to go. So if we want to go where we want to go, we can't let this one you know affect the next three weeks. See that maturity after the TCU game too. That's you know I think that yeah I think a little bit, but I could see that there's a different vibe in in, in there right now uh, as far as you know the TCU game. You know that's a good question honestly, but I, I, the whole conference is our side of the conference is still wide open. I mean if we go out and play like we can win out, we're gonna be just fine. We can see them again. Um, so. I, I really hope there is no let lay off, let off from from this week to next week because if, if it is, it's not going to be pretty. So I got to get those guys going, and I think we're going to be just fine. Like I said, we got a mature football team. So.